Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Alba's Awakening. Um, on my way back down here, I just figured, uh, now that I have the eye, I check the, if there is a boss here, but, um, yeah, there's not a boss, at least not immediately, but this door with an eye for a doorknob. Huh. Oh, and there's the boss in here, I see, so the map was not lying. The Beholder is a tough foe. Attack the eyes to deal damage. Quickly hide behind a block if he fires projectiles at you. Attack the eyes to deal damage. Hide behind, behind a block, okay. Um, I did not actually save on my way here. So I should probably do that real quick. Uh, yeah, I totally did not actually expect to find a boss there. At least not now. So this is a complete coincidence. And I actually decided to, to come back here before looking at those two fire chasms. So maybe there aren't any platforms there after all. We'll see what defeating this boss immediately does for me. I mean, if nothing else, it's going to give me the final uh, ornament, of course. Which will then allow me to access maybe the final dungeon of the game in Gloom Lake. We'll see. Hello, Beholder. The ornaments you have collected are powerful, but they do not belong to you. That eye you just stole was not yours to take. It allows you to see things that were not meant for your eyes, and it is too powerful for you to handle. I am taking it back! Oh no, you're not. Oh, okay, that's the eye of the beholder. I see. Okay. That's... No, I did... Obviously not mean to destroy my own... Thing there. Okay. Oh, he's opening different eyes. Oh god. Yeah, that's not great. In fact, what's even worse is that. Oh no. The worst part is that I'm way too slow to, to react, actually. He doesn't have that much health. But, wow, holy crap. I need to somehow find a way to deal with these bats more efficiently. Also, it sucks that... Uh, that my flask was not is not actually saved. Because now, of course, the whole thing is going to be much, much more difficult. Okay, so uh, the biggest difficulty for me is to kind of find a way to deal with the bats. And then be able to switch between shooting and putting down a block to hide behind. Maybe if I actually just stay on the, the upper platform, it's gonna be, it's gonna work out better for me. I mean, also does not help when I actually, oh, okay. Yeah, this does not work for me. Oh god, how do I do this? Those bats are kind of the biggest problem here. Also the fact that his yellow shots actually destroy my cover. So unlike with the previous boss, where the where the block actually kind of broke the boss fight a little bit, although I'm sure it was completely intentional the way it happened. Can I please shoot him? Oh, it's already closed. Okay, I mean, I can hang back here. The question is, do I want that? Okay, awesome. These shots also negate my own. Maybe like this? Oh, awesome. Okay, if I time it like this, I can actually get a hit every now and then. Oh, of course. You can also get hit by this stupid bat here. Yeah, hmm, I don't know. Obviously, I got the timing right by complete coincidence that one time. Oh, awesome, okay. So just... I guess hide here. No, no, no. The thing is, kill this hit. Shoot, hide, and hopefully... Oh, that was a bit too early. Okay. 
technically this should work. It seems a bit cheesy almost, but I'm willing to take all the cheese I can for this. Okay. Since obviously I need it. Yeah, if I miss that bat once, it's gonna be bad news. But this seems like a tactic that should, or a strategy, I guess, that should theoretically work. So I'm going to put down this block as soon as I can. Ah, oh, that was, yeah, too early. Okay, wait until the kind of last moment. Awesome. And then, because I stand here, he's actually going to shoot and miss my shoot a bit high and miss my block. Awesome. How did I get hit there? I'm not sure. I somehow did. That's unfortunate. Okay, oh, uh, no. I jumped too early. And I... What? How did I die again? I did... My eyes were on my shot and not on my character. Maybe there was a... Maybe his, his uh, red shots actually were still on screen. And I got hit by one of those. Okay, so it's not trivial. It's not trivial, but... I still feel like... This is my best bet. Until maybe I come up with something better. Okay. I need to be hiding here. Oh! Oh! Okay, so sometimes those hit me, after all. Maybe my block is too far over here. I was putting it... Okay, yeah, that works better. And it got destroyed, okay. Oh, I'm dead. I need to wait. Think. Yeah, so, um... Most of those cases where I got hit by the bat... No, that's, that's not... What I'm trying to say here is... I keep jumping too early, basically. I need to wait a little bit longer before trying to hit the bat, or else I miss it and thing, things go south real quick. Ah, that sucks. Let's shoot up here, and that works. Okay, and I go up, kill the final bat. Wait, but not too long. At least this way I should be fine in terms of not getting hit by the red shots. Maybe if I can give me a little bit more room here. Okay. That might have been early. Okay, no. It was just fine. Kill the final bat. Do this. So long as I don't mess up this cycle, it's going to work out. The thing is, I'm so prone to messing things up. Eventually. Thankfully, it's timed just, just so that you can actually... Ah, oh, no. I'm dead. Oh, no, I had to hit the tank. Okay. Okay, good. Almost got hit there. And... What I really mean by that is... I think I waited too... Almost too long. Oh, he's already dead! Wow, <laughs> I got completely lost track of his HP. Um, awesome. So, what was I trying to say? Yeah, I thought my shot was a little late, so that I was afraid his own shot might come out and cancel mine out, but it did not happen. Awesome. So that went pretty well, all things considered. Not even ten minutes, new boss down. Quite happy with that, actually. I'm also just super, super lucky. I, I feel I was super lucky to find out that, uh, I don't know, cheesy-ish strategy pretty early on. Now, unfortunately, we still can't backtrack this way, which is a bit of a bummer. I really feel that this blue statue is 
does not need to be here. I mean, what's its purpose? It, all it does is that in order to collect that last missing gem in this area, I'll have to come all the way back from, from below again. Hmm. I mean, I guess initially it was here to prevent me from... Yeah, so I dropped in here, was surprised not to find a boss, and my only way out was to keep looking and find the secret passage here, so yeah, okay. I guess that's the point to it. Although, I mean... Couldn't they still have... I mean, if, if the blue statue wasn't there, or the blue shooter, whatever, wasn't there... I could have returned, but eventually, I, I mean, it would have been... It would have looked like a dead end, but obviously something was up with the boss room, so... I mean... It doesn't seem unreasonable to expect the player to look around and find the hidden passage anyway, even though they could technically return from the, that room. Oh well, whatever. It is what it is. Alright. I'm going to make my way... Actually, I'm going to pause recording and um, make my way back to those fiery chasms to see if I can actually cross them. Yeah, that's what I'll do, and if if I can't, I can always go to Gloom Lake and see uh, what new way opens up now that I have all the ornaments. So, uh, yeah, see you in a second. Alright, I'm over here, and as I thought, there are no platforms here. That might or might not have been here before. Oh, I found a mysterious item. It looks like it is a piece from something bigger from something bigger? For some reason it feels very familiar. Okay. That is... Oh, that is actually listed by uh, next to the keys of my blue gems. Interesting. Okay. Um, well. I guess I'll take a look and see... Actually, I'm going to kill myself and... Where's the closest I can teleport to? What's it called? Oh. The one near Gloom Lake. I don't think it is Gloom Lake, is it? Is it Stone Cellar? It is not. Not at all. No, of course not. Uh, underground Chamber? It is... Oh, no, it's... Okay, it's Central Alba, actually. I was confused because that's not actually super central. Yeah, but it's here. Also conveniently right next to a well. It's appreciated. Um, I guess I might as well keep recording for the time being because we are going to pass by where all the, um, all the ornaments are needed. So we'll see what happens there. Wow, that was actually pretty stupid. Now let's just kill this guy. Or girl, whatever. I might lose my uh, flask, but whatever. Okay, so there's just a teleport now. Do you have anything new to say? Now that you have all the ornaments, you are strong enough for your last battle. When you are ready, just enter the portal. Hmm. Does that mean... Altar of Echoes. I hope I can go back, but I should be able to kill myself and return that way, in any case. But yeah, I can just travel back, of course. Okay. Let's not continue in the Altar of Echoes quite yet. Also appreciate a heart drop, but that might not happen.
Man, it feels like I haven't been here in a long time. It's not really been that long, all things considered. Going to play this kind of safe here. So I would really prefer to preserve my flask if I can. There's also another well here, but whatever. What did you have to say? Oh yeah, right. You are the idiot who used to possess a gem, but doesn't anymore. Right, that leads us to the cemetery of something's lost cemetery. Right. I wonder if this is an actual area. It's listed as having zero orbs, so I guess not, maybe. It might not have anything, really. Oh! What? The first part of the word is bag. Oh, and we have... We have learned that the last part is... Vold? Like V-O-L-D? The first part of the word is bag. Bag something Vold? Touch tombstone. Uh, no? Not quite yet? I feel like there might be a... An optional boss or something coming up. Nothing up here? Okay. So this tells me the word. The first part of the word is bag. Yes. Okay, and these first two tombstones don't have anything. Yes. Oh, that teleports me to Tomb of Kloski. Oh, achievement. What lies beneath? So this is supposed to be a hidden area. Hmm. Seems kind of obvious. Obvious enough to reach. Where on the map are we? We are not on the map, is the answer. Okay. So I guess this doesn't count towards map completion either, huh? Interesting. And... Is there... Oh, is that uh, another piece of the... Of the tablet? Another fragment? Bigger one. Might be. So maybe that's all that's... To be gotten here. Yes, I'm... Super careful again. No. Actually... Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't know how I did manage to not take damage there. Are we going to fall? We are not. Is there... A door? Behind? Um... Up. I don't actually know where I am or what I'm doing. I'm trying to press all kinds of buttons. Doesn't seem to. Oh, there were destructible blocks. Okay. Good to know. Let's wait for that guy to turn around. Okay. Or just dodge his projectiles, which is actually easy. Please. Ah, no health drops. For some reason, I doubt there's there are going to be any any uh, safe points in this area. Okay, that would not have worked. Come on. What? Okay. So far, so good. Where are you guys? Okay, I was going to say that did not seem like I actually destroyed that thing for good, and I didn't. Okay, should probably try to cross as much of this room as I can. Good. Wait, what? Oh, right. <laughs> there was a waterfall. Okay. Again, being quick about things is often helpful. And yes, I lost my flask there. That's fine, though. Okay. 
you leave me alone, friend? Okay, those guys are going to fire, that's okay. Nice, we're fully healed. Also, I must have missed something, but somehow I still have my flask. I was sure I, I'd actually lost it. Oh yeah, I cannot do that. Um, this is actually tricky, or maybe it's really just a trick. Let's try this first. Because knowing this game, there might very well be an illusory wall here. Okay, there is not. Um, I mean, can I just... Can I just jump, jump around, basically? Oh no, I cannot! Crap. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll need to try that somewhere safe first. Can I... I cannot do something like that. I cannot summon that mid-jump. So how's that supposed to work? Wow, I really don't want to... to... walk all this way again, only to find that I can't actually do that jump. Would have been... Would it have been possible to, to jump around? Oh, okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let me pause recording and make it back there first. Alright, I made it back here. Didn't actually take as long as I remembered. But if I do this... Like, can I put it... Oh, wow. It's basically floating at this point. And now if I do this... Ha! Huh, okay. Awesome. Okay, first and foremost, let's do that. Nice. Found a mysterious item. Looks like it is a piece from something bigger. For some reason it feels very familiar. Is that going to tell me the middle part of the, the word? Or whatever? Hmm. I'm not sure if there is one or two more pieces missing. Also, there is that one... I remember there being that um, that one stone tablet behind, uh, behind a closed door that I didn't see any way to open. That was in Amethyst Passage, right? Yeah. Hmm. Now I wonder if I'm supposed to... Or I'm w I wonder if I should... Go ahead uh, to the through the final area. Obviously not. I'm not going to fight or I'm not going... Yeah, I'm not going to fight. And thus eventually beat the final boss yet. So I want to definitely f uh, find everything else first. But I wonder if maybe the final tablet might be in the final area as well. Well, the final or one of the pieces, I don't know. So I assume that I'm going to need at least, well, well, obviously at least one more piece, but maybe up to two. I guess it would be that it's four total, but who knows. Hmm. I don't really have any clues as to where to look. Although there are at least two places that I know I haven't checked. in uh, two of the previous areas, and of course, multiple places that are, aren't actually marked. Most of which should only contain, um, or only lead to blue orbs, though. Yeah, I really don't know. Should I check out the final area? Or should I go ahead and backtrack first? Because I don't know if... Hmm. Well, I don't know where I'm going to find the final upgrade. The upgrade for... For my um, yellow magic, the one that I just accidentally used, um, chances are that I'm that I'll find that in the final area. But I don't see how that would help me with, uh, you know, traversing the world. It's obviously, well, that was stupid. Mm, obviously. The way it is, it doesn't help with exploration at all. So if my theory is correct, um, it's probably either going to be more powerful or have a shorter cooldown, both of which would be great. I guess shorter cooldown would actually be preferable. 
But in any case, yeah, I'm, I suspect that I have all the tools necessary to find all the items in the game now at this point. So this is kind of annoying to return. Oh, thanks for the health drop. It's surprisingly nice of you. I'm just going to go ahead and tank everything. In fact... Yeah, you know what, I'm going to take a look at the new area first. Backtracking is going to happen, and I mean, if nothing else, uh, the new area should connect to the Solstice Mountain, right? There is still that one connection that I couldn't access from from the Solstice Mountain side. So even though we won't have another teleporter in the Altar of Echoes, unless one gets added to the list. Also, it says it says a number one there. Hmm. Unless it was just some kind of ornament. Wonder what exactly that's supposed to mean. Can I shoot that guy from across the room? I mean, yeah, I can, but do I want to? Is it is it possible? Is it necessary? Is it useful? Obviously not necessary. Maybe not even useful. Yeah. Okay. So I have to try and place this right next, right up to the wall. Yeah, that works. Surprisingly finicky. Also, is there a ceiling here? Yes, there is. Okay. Is this thing going to fall? It is. Okay. Right. Um, do I just make this jump? Yes, I do. Okay, this one's going to fall as well. Almost didn't make that jump. Good times. Oh, we need three keys here. Okay, fair enough. Let's hope one of them isn't, or more than one of them, isn't hidden quite as well as one of the crystals was. Oh, okay. Awesome. Not sure if these. Uh, the spikes are actually instant kill. I, these, uh, well, spike bolts are, but those spear kind of things probably aren't. Oh wow! Oh, I should have. Okay, I needed to try and make it across in one go, because I can't actually jump and create another thing from here. So I had it, but I didn't realize at the time. Okay. So, coming up on the end of the episode already. Holy crap, these are flying by. At least when playing. I hope... I hope the same is true when actually watching these. Feel free to tell me. I mean, if you're still watching... At this point, what is this episode? Like, 13? You should probably find this at least somewhat entertaining. Okie doke. It's already at the correct power. Jump across and don't hesitate. Dark real quick. Okay, stand here, put down this. Uh, that was a bit close-ish. Ah, oh, come on. Didn't have to... Didn't have to... Hurry up quite so much. Also... Oh yeah, of course. I was uh, briefly wondering the room... Oh. I was briefly wondering what that room was with uh, an opening further up. But that's obviously the one with three doors.
I'm going to attempt this whole thing one more time before the end of the episode here. We're actually already at 30 minutes, but whatever. Jump again. Almost get hit. Not that it really matters since next obstacle is instant kill anyway. But who knows what comes after. Okie doke. Oh! No! I. I panicked. <laughs> Yeah, switching between these three things when you're in a stressful situation, I don't know. Uh, other people probably have no problem with that at all, but I don't know. I was never great at quick reactions, in case you couldn't tell. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I really want to make it past this place. You know what, I'm going to try it one more time, but I'm going to cut out the way in between. See you, uh, see you back in a second. And we are back here. So, this time... Do this, switch to the power immediately. No! Oh god! I should have just fired in midair. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. I feel like I could have made it as well. Oh. I guess it's still enough if I if I fire immediately upon landing, but I have to jump right away because there's not gonna be much time. Oh, it's actually pretty tight. Might have been might be one of the trickiest sections of pure platforming so far. Which makes sense, since we are approaching the end of the game. Uh, do I want to try one more time? Yes, I'm going to try one more time. This time is going to be the last time, because I'm going to make it. And I'm back here again. Can't believe I never actually died on the way here, so far. Fingers crossed. Okay. There we go. It's not hard at all. Now, what's going to kill me next? I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, wow. Non-trivial, but not super difficult, technically speaking. This episode is going to be a bit longer, I'm sorry. But I'm... At this point, I kind of want to go... At least until I reach a checkpoint. Yeah, so this is the first one. Obviously now I'm gonna have to do this. Then this. That was needlessly, I don't know, not even dangerous. But whatever. So this one, and then I all I have to do is make it back across. Float up. This duck, duck and cover. Do this. Create a block. Push it down there. Excuse me. Okay. That would have been. <laughs> uh, that would have been sad if that had somehow not worked. Okay. Next room. Oh, there's a save room over to the left. Okay, there's not a safe room here. Wow, am I going, going to be sad if I don't make this? There are a couple of things that could go wrong here. First of all, I want to do this and actually do it. Okay. No, I did... <sighs> I panicked for no reason. Somehow I thought my block would disappear, but it obviously wouldn't. <gasps> okay. And here again, I'm in no danger at all. I'm going to push that down. Duck beyond these. Okay. Whew. I should be good. Let's take a look at the safe room, actually, before I feel too safe. Yep. 
Okay. Good. <laughs> well, I almost saw myself landing next to that rock, though. Awesome, we made it here. Uh, now I am content, now I can end this episode in peace. Uh, next time we're going to keep exploring this hellhole. Holy shit. Yeah, um, well, it's gonna take a while to reach that shortcut back to Solstice Mountain, huh? Maybe. In any case, uh, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, as always. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.